editor's note to say that this video is indeed a year late. Hi, it's me. I am alive. Yeah. If you're new, hi, my name is Taya. I moved to Canada a year ago to start a two-year master's and I was going to post videos about it and then <sighs> life happened, bro. I mean, this video is going to be me moving all my stuff in last year. It's been really fun to edit this because it was a whole year ago and so stuff is obviously different now. But yeah, sorry about the, the year long wait. I hope you enjoy this video regardless. <laughs> I'm starting this vlog in a bit of an anticlimactic fashion because I've just come out to this little park that's around where I live. I'm going to journal a bit about thoughts that I'm having currently. It's going to be a bit weird picking up the pieces after this kind of in-between year that I've had. I don't quite know how I feel about moving to Canada and the fact that it's so soon. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Continents day, moving to a different country day. Oh, I'm tired. I'm really nervous. It's a bit of a long journey, so we're going to Glasgow first and then catching a flight tomorrow morning from Glasgow to Reykjavik in Iceland, having a two hour layover and then continuing our journey all the way to Toronto. I'm packed, basically, which is impressive by my standards because it's still like three hours until we're leaving. Let's go. Long. 
entire airport trying to find this one place to get my SIM card. Um, thought it was at Terminal 3, turns out it's at Terminal 1. I thought it was at Terminal 1, then I thought it was Terminal 3 because it said Gate C, which is Terminal 3. But then it turned out to be Terminal 1 because I found it. left about two hours ago and now it's just me and all my stuff and this room and my thoughts <laughs> Thank you. 
to go to the University Expo with all the societies and clubs here on campus. It is disgustingly hot outside again today, so hair is going up because there is no way I would survive outside. With this mane that my hair has become, I have no classes or anything today, they start tomorrow, but I do have some orientation stuff that I need to go to. I went to one this morning um, for linguistics and I've got another sort of general orientation thing. I think that's first and then I'm going to the expo after that. I also need to spend today just unpacking everything that I own because my room is currently very much a mess as you can see and not really fit for living so we need to rectify that. It does feel weird kind of moving everything in and getting settled in when you make this decision to move abroad for uni. It doesn't quite compute how like actually big and substantial that decision is. It doesn't quite feel real that I'm on like a different continent to where I usually am. My family leaving yesterday was also really weird. I'm trying to distract myself by just focusing on things I have to do, going to orientation and unpacking my room. I'm also just kind of excited to explore the campus a little bit because I haven't really been walking around that much. So I don't actually know the layout of anything or where anything is, which could be interesting in terms of finding where I'm supposed to go for orientation, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, let's get going. out the expo closed early because of the extreme weather and that's the direct quote from the note on the door and I understand the heat is really not it it's so hot 
and I'm not normally one to complain about heat, actually that's a lie, I do complain about heat, but I complain about cold a lot too, and so I'm just never happy, but I'm headed back to my dorm now to get some lunch because I'm starving, and just to really unpack more for the rest of the evening I think. I'm a bit sad that I didn't get to go to the expo, but it is what it is, I had graduate orientation so I couldn't really go earlier anyway, but yeah. on camera but I am red as a tomato Also note to self, when it's 33 degrees out, don't take a 10 minute detour just to go to an expo that you think is happening because it might not even be happening and you end up walking 20 minutes more than you actually thought you were in 35 degree heat and intense sunlight. I'm gonna go refrost my icicles. <laughs> later now and I have basically recovered from my near heat exhaustion collapse thing earlier. I feel like I'm exaggerating but I'm also not, I was not doing well. <laughs> I've essentially spent the past couple of hours just doing the last little bits of unpacking and getting settled and I'll have a desk that's functioning and not just completely cluttered. This <laughs> is still a work in progress. Um, I also can't really put up any like pictures or anything yet because I don't actually have um, command strips and such to fix things to the walls. I need to go get that probably tomorrow or one of the other days this week. And I really need to get those little like command clips so that I can put fairy lights up because there's like ample opportunity for fairy lightage and I just don't have the tools to be able to put them up yet, which is annoying. So hopefully tomorrow we can go get that, um, but yeah. For now, this is my home for this next year. Pretty much done. Wild. <laughs> especially in like in the first couple of days that I'm in a new place. I did feel it quite a bit yesterday when my mum and my sister left, but then today's been kind of just me settling in and 
I haven't really felt it that much, uh, which I guess is a good thing. It's kind of strange though, because this is the furthest that I've ever moved. Like I've never lived this far away from like Europe <laughs> before, or like my roots, any of my roots, my UK roots, my Norway roots. Another thing is like, I'm starting a master's, which is markedly different to doing an undergrad degree, as has been made very clear to me over the course of the day in all the orientation sessions I've had. They've kept being like, well, your undergrad, that was one thing, but your postgrad studies are gonna be completely different. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder, so that's fun. Don't quite know what I've signed myself up for, but hey ho. I do have a sweet mate. So I have someone who lives in the room next to mine um, and who I share a kitchen and bathroom with. I haven't actually met her yet because she's currently out on a boating trip and she's getting back tomorrow evening. So I am quite excited to meet her. At my first day of school tomorrow, first day of classes for my masters, which should be interesting. I'm very nervous. I have a phonetics class tomorrow and Chinese, Mandarin Chinese in the evening. Don't know if any of you remember, I took a Mandarin Chinese class um, back in my Konstanz days in Germany. I'm retaking it now because I don't think I remember that much and I do kind of want to study the language still again, so that should be fun. But for now, I'm just going to turn in for the evening, eat my dinner, my makeshift dinner, and see you tomorrow.